Hello, my name is Michael de Miranda and uh, welcome to the second part of Ritmos de Bomba. Uh, the second part I will start with the style uh, of Bomba and it's called Gwembe. But first, before we are going to play this style, I have to explain something about the drums. I don't think I've mentioned it in the first part. Uh, when you are playing Bomba, you have uh, special drums. I am showing it on conga drums, but the Bomba drums are different. They are made from barrels in which they kept rum. And the drums of Bomba, they are a little bit wider. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a Bomba drum, so... I will play it on uh, a conga for you. Okay, Gwembe. Gwembe is uh, a common uh, bomba which is found in, uh, in Ponce, Mayagüez, Cataño, uh, Santurce, in different places. It is a fast uh, bomba. Yes, let's go to Gwembe. The first tone is with your right hand an open tone. After this open tone, a slap with your right hand and a slap with your left hand. One, two, three, four. After the slap with your left hand, an open tone again with your right hand. One, two, three, four. After this open tone, a slap with your left hand and a slap with your right hand. One, two, three, four. Yes, again, one, two, three, four. After this slap, open tone with your left hand, and then an open tone with your right hand, and then you are back at the beginning. The last open tone with the right hand is the same as where you started. So you have... That's it. If I repeat it, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Of course, it should be play, played faster, like I said, so it's like... Okay, Gwembe. A sub-style of uh, Gwembe is called Balancé, and the only difference is the first tone. Balancé starts with a bass note. Let me show you how, how this balancé is played. Also, the tempo is a little bit slower than Gwembe. Like I said, the first note is a bass. And the rest remains the same. So actually, if I play it slow, it's like this. One, two, three, four. That's balancé. The next sub-style of Gwembe is called Gracima. And it's a moderate, fast tempo. So let's play Gracima. The first note is an open tone with your right hand. Then a slap with your right hand. And then three open tones. Left, right, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then a slap with your right hand. One, two, three, four. And then one open tone with your left hand. Or, and then it starts again. So you have... And this one is where we started. So if I repeat it, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four.
Yes? Uh, the famous tattoo Conrad has a different version of this Gracima. It's, it sounds different. So let me show you how Tatu Conrad is playing this Gracima. First, we have an open tone, and directly after this open tone, with le your left hand, a slap. One, two, three, four. After this slap, an open tone with your left hand, and an open tone with your right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After this open tone, a slap with your right hand. One, two, three, four. And that's it. If I repeat this, then this gracima sounds like this. One, two, three, four. That is the version of Tato Conrad. Okay, the next style in bomba is called Seis Corrido. Seis Corrido is a very fast style. So let me play Seis Corrido for you. First, we have an open tone. Then three slaps, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. Yes. Then again, open tone with your right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After this uh, open tone, a slap with your right hand. One, two, three, four. That is uh, size corrido. Of course, they play it much faster. So you have together katun ta, together katun ta. One, two, and one, two, three, four. Like this. The famous family Ayala, uh, they are coming from Louisa. Louisa, yes, I think it's called like this, this place in the north uh, of, uh, of Puerto Rico, the northeast side. Uh, the family Ayala has their way of playing this size corrido and it's very, very fast. We are only going to play open tones, only but there are two notes that are played louder. The first one, one, and the one, two, three, four, the fourth one, with your left hand. Those notes are played louder. So you have actually this. And they are not all open tones, it's not like this. But they are also not really fingertips, it's a little bit in between. But they are playing it like this. Of course, Faster, faster. It's, uh, it says that, that, that when they are playing, it's like the fire is coming. So they play like... A sub-style of this size corrido, uh, size corrido is called bambule. And the reason I want to mention this substyle is because uh, of the famous Rafael Cortijo. 
He is the one who brought the bomba from the streets on radio, television, on records. And uh, he also adapted uh, the pattern, a pattern for congas, and that you also could play it on timbales, and you could do more with it. So Cortijo ma made it quite famous, this uh, bambule, this bomba. We start with the first note, it's a slap, and it's played a little bit louder, louder. it has an accent. Then, uh, again, three slaps, but they are not as loud as the first one. The fourth note with your left hand is a slap which is played louder. So you have like this. Yes. Then again two slaps, but yeah, it's a little bit in between slaps and fingertips. So uh, you have and then two open tones are coming, right, left. And it's like one, two, three, four, and... It should be played a little bit faster. Not as fast as the family Ayala. <laughs> one, two, and uh, one, two, three, four. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, second part of the bomba. And in the third part, there's another one or several styles coming like uh, Yuba and uh, Hollandaise and other styles. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye. <laughs>